In this video tutorial, we are going to make a holiday wreath for your wall or your door. Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. It's time for another freebie of the month. All my free patterns can be downloaded in my Facebook group in the files section. The link is down below. And if you do not have a Facebook account, you can send me an email via my website. Let's get started. You will need to cut out wreaths and ornament pieces and pick and choose from the ornament options available. Begin to assemble the wreath front piece by sewing together two pieces each to create a quarter wreath. Then sew two of the pieces you just sewed together to create half a wreath. Press the seams to one side. Put one back and one front wreath piece right sides together each and pin them together. Sew around the inner and outer curved edges of both half wreaths. Clip the curves. Turn one of the half wreaths inside out. Put the turned piece inside the other and pin them together along one side.
sew around the pinned edge. Turn the wreath inside out. Pin the other open side of the wreath together as much as you can. This is a bit fiddly and tricky, but you can do it! Sew along the pinned edge as far as you can. Leave a hole to stuff the wreath. Take your stuffing and stuff the wreath. I'm using polyfill. Done! Close the turning hole by hand. My wreath looks a little bit wonky because I did not cut it properly on the bias. So you really have to cut all the wreath pieces perfectly on the bias to have it be stretchy in all the directions in the same way. Let's work on the ornaments next. Take the inside of the stockings and iron the interfacing to it. You could also iron it to the lower part of the outer stocking pieces.
Baste the piece of folded over string to the top edge of one of the inner stocking pieces. Sew the top part of the inner stocking piece to the bottom part. Repeat this for the other part of the inner stocking except for the ribbon. Sew both inner stocking pieces together, leaving the top and a turning hole open. Sew the outer stocking pieces together and turn them inside out. Pin the outer stocking piece inside the inner one, right sides facing, and sew them together along the top edge. Turn the stocking inside out through the turning hole and close the turning hole either by hand or with the sewing machine. I use the sewing machine this time because I won't ever see the inside of that stocking ever again, I think. <laughs> Once it's all nicely um, tied to the wreath. Stuff the inner stocking piece into the outer one, 
Turn the top edge over and the stocking is done. If you like, sew another stocking or two. Cut out two pieces of the ornaments you want to sew each and sew them together, leaving a turning or stuffing hole open. Turning and stuffing hole open. So whichever ornament pieces you choose, just sew all the way around, except for a turning hole here. I'm sewing the angel here in this little bit of the video but I chose not to use it because it was it was just there was not enough space on the wreath for me to put the angel so the angel and I think the shooting star didn't make it onto my particular wreath but of course I left it in the pattern so that you can use it <laughs> clip the corners and curves and turn the ornament pieces inside out Sew the turning holes by hand and decorate the ornaments with buttons or beads if you like. Decorate the wreath with ribbons, bows and your ornaments as much as you like. I would love to see your creations in the Sami Facebook group if you want to show me a picture of your wreath and your decorations. I'd love to see them.
I sewed some of them to the wreath and others I sewed a string to so I could make them hang off the wreath. And then we're done! It would be fun to make this project in all kinds of different colors and prints and colorways but I chose to stick with the traditional red and green for this one but maybe you can come up with a little bit more interesting ideas. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little video and this tutorial and I hope this wreath will grace your front door or you can make it as a present for a friend. I'd love to see your pictures if you want to share them in the Sammy Facebook group. See you soon! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye!